Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Let's Build series in Minecraft. Now today I want to share with you a very simple enchantment room. And it is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial. So let me quickly show you how it ended up looking. Uh, yeah, let's go up and here we go. This is the room itself. As you can see, this is fully functional those are just for the looks and i think it's a pretty clean design with with pretty nice colors into it uh, i really love the use of the new blocks to be honest and let's actually go quickly over the materials you need now most of these are, are optional so you need 80 black carpet 80 quartz bricks 75 quartz stairs 63 bookshelves 40 iron bars 16 gray carpet and this is for the pillars okay so you can use two stacks of one type of block or make a mix like i did with the polished deep slay uh, tiles i'm sorry the bricks and the cracked ones i have used a mixture of it and this is the amount if you want to do the same this is fully optional, you don't need end rods. Uh, this is for the light. You can use uh, the iron bars instead, actually. 14 purple carpet, some uh, purple stairs, 10 loom, 3 soul sand, 10 cobblestone, 1 grindstone, and 1, uh, one anvil. And of course, you need a enchantment table as well. So, once you've got a nice little area to build, let's get started. The first thing I want to do is actually have enough space for a 17 by 17 room and it, it needs to be six blocks high in total at least. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is actually place, the first thing you want to do is place three soul sand, like ignite it at some stairs in front of it like this. Then you want to build up your pillars. Now you can change up how this looks. I will use this pattern properly all the way around. You want to do this on this side as well. Then place your trapdoors right around the edge like that and underneath as well. Like so. Then what you want to do is add some stairs on there. Another one like there. Okay. You can actually change this up with the copper one. I really like the uh, purple stair actually. Next thing, you want to build another pillar right behind this one. So right about here. Okay. So let me quickly get this in and on the other side as well. Then you want to take, you want to take the purple shulker box and place it in like this. And you want to do this on the other side as well. Then what you want to do is go on this side, add another pillar going up. Then you want to make another pillar like this one. Okay. So then take the loom and go on the back side, place it in like there. And then you can make another pillar next to that. And what you want to do is actually do this once more and again add your bookshelves. In as well like that okay next thing you want to do is add some stairs and the way you want to do that is actually go across like this okay here what you want to do is go in place a purple stair and go on like that and actually let's change this up as well so it should end up looking like this now this is the start of the room. Now down here you want to do the same actually. Okay. And then have stairs going around the edge like this. So do that on all these uh, pillars. Now after you got all that in, what you want to do is add some buttons. I'm using the crimson button <clears throat> on top of every pillar like that then you want to add the iron bar two end rods and the iron bar now if you don't have end rods which i assume you don't uh, then you can just use the iron bars instead so you don't need to have 
and rods. Now, next thing we actually need to build the working area as well because this won't work as it is right now. So what you want to do is go on this side, go into blocks, and then build it like this. Okay. I want to do the same over. Uh, actually, let's go one more out like this okay so you need actually 12 nine, one two three six seven okay we got 14 in total it's fine though now we need to add some carpet as well to change up the color as you can see what i have done is i added black carpet and dark gray carpet well actually it is gray carpet in front of these now I think it looks very nice indeed now you can add things to the roof as well if you want to you can change this you can use cobblestone uh, unfortunately we can't place carpets in front of the bookshelves but that's why I went for the cobblestone and I think it looks very nice indeed and hopefully you enjoyed this one and if you did please leave a like and subscribe have a nice day see you the next time